we might want to talk a little bit about soil now. So here's a few soil basics. First, what is soil composed of? Well, basically there are three components. There's sand, silt, and clay. Sand is the coarsest of this. We are all familiar with sand on the beach. Silt is a little finer, and it's hard to explain. It's sort of like fine dust that you might find in the street. Then also we all are familiar with clay. Clay is the finest particle, and it's very important in soil, but you don't want to have too much. In an ideal world, you would have something that's called a sandy loam. And a sandy loam would have really good drainage, but it would have a little bit of silt and clay as well to hold moisture. Beyond the composition of the soil, you'll also be concerned with what the pH is. pH is the level of acidity or basicness of the soil, and this is very important because different plants like different pH, and it's very important to each plant that it's planted in its own pH zone so that it can take up nutrients. Neutral pH is something like 7.6, and as you go higher from there, you get more basic, and as you go lower, you get more acidic. Forest plants in the Northeast generally like pretty acidic soil, and in the Midwest, where you have more of a limestone base, they generally think, like things a little more basic. So if you were to get a soil test, you would find out what the soil composition is, what its pH was, and then lastly, you'd want to know what the organic content was. And this is how much non-mineral uh, material is in the soil. That means not sand, not silt, not clay. Organic material is generally uh, organic debris from leaves and wood and also something we call hummus which is a broken down organic material which is something like compost. You want to have about five percent organic content in your soil for most plants and if you're coming in low there you might want to add some compost to bring the organic content up.